Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Michael W. Evans. Today I come with a very interesting but different topic. I'm going to talk about how you start design using Archicad and specifically Archicad 19. I'm quite sure you've seen some very nice designs and you wonder how is this achieved. So I'm going to give you very simple steps and I'm quite sure you will enjoy this session. So before I proceed, please hit that button and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the future content. We start by launching the Archicad program by double clicking on the Archicad icon on your desktop. You will give it a little time for it to load. Of course the speed at which it loads will depend on how fast your machine is. Once it has opened and loaded completely, this Archicad window will appear and this is where your design will take place. Yes, on the far uh, right uh, of this design window, you will uh, see the, 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 these tools that exist. We have the elevations, not the elevation really, but the stories from ground, you know, to first to second. We have the elevations, we have the other elements such as the worksheets, the 3D documents, and all the other uh, stuff. On the far left, we have the design tools. These are the tools that will help you in your design, of course, from top to bottom. And then, uh, of course, uh, this window, this is where our design will, you know, will be done. We have those are the elevations existing. That means your design will come within this space. Uh, so, of course, uh, from here we'll go, uh, you know, to design itself. We'll start by the very simple element of design, which is the wall. You double click on the wall and this window will open. Of course, you select that and you'll want to change the thickness of the wall from 300 to 200, which is uh, normally used. And of course, you will say OK after that. You will come to the Archicad window. Of course, before you came to this point, uh, you had some design sketched somewhere or you had a design in mind. Say your house is a rectangular house of 10 meters by 5, so you'll come there and do the wall. You will input the length as 10 meters, and then from that point, you will input the length, or that is the width, as 5 meters. And then from there, another 10 meters. And finally, you will do 10, uh, 5 meters. So you have uh, your comp the walling is complete. Yes, of course, from this point, you will want to add another element uh, in which we'll do a roof. You will double click to open the roof settings. You will select on that. Of course, that is the, the height at which the roof will come once uh, your, your, your house is done. So if you want to change, you can change. But in this case, we are going to maintain 3200, which is the default height in this program. This is the uh, roof pitch. 45 is quite high, so we are going to change that to 30 and say OK. We'll come back to this uh, Archicad uh, window. And uh, of course, uh, you will uh, select uh, that corner and you will drag it to the uh, far right. Yes, uh, of course, like that. Uh, yes, and that way you'll have your roof. Uh, so, after the roof is done, you want to add another element. So, in this case, we'll add a slab. Add a slab to our, to our design. Of course, you select that and change the thickness of the slab to 150 millimeters. This is what is uh, usually use in most cases so we'll do three 150 millimeters and you'll come here and you'll do that of course to do our slab so th uh, that is our slab and this is our roof you want to add more elements of course the doors and the windows uh, which are some of the very basic elements in a, in a building 
So you'll come to doors, you will double click the tool to open and of course you will select which type of door you want to use. You know, in my case I will use a double door with a fan light. I will come there and I will have my door opening on the outside like that. I will do another door at this point opening on the outside. Once the doors are done, I want to do the windows. I will open the window dialog settings box. Of course, from this point, you want to select which design you want to use. Of course, here yeah, I will pick this one and I will say OK. Of course, there are many other settings that you want to change to customize, but that is for later. So I'll come at this point. I will introduce a window opening to the outside i will do another window opening to the outside i'll have one more window here opening to the outside another window opening to the outside another window opening to the outside and finally at this point opening to the outside of course you will have to change a bit of these uh, positions later on as you modify your design so maybe you'll want to look at uh, this house and see how does it appear in 3d yes so uh, you'll come and select the 3d window and here you have your design so basically this is how the house will look like so for today's session uh, that uh, is actually all for it in my future or in my next episode i'll be talking about how you modify this into a more attractive uh, you know design And uh, of course, uh, so from this window, I'll come back to the design window. I'll go to file. Of course, I want to save my design. So I'll go to file and select save. And then, of course, I'll, I'll pick a location where I want to save my project. And I'll input the project name. And in my case, I will do a simple house like that and then i'll hit save so that is it for today thank you very much for your time please subscribe to my channel to support my work until we meet in the next episode have a great time